dia mundo. It's a new day in Motago, Portugal. Story of the Bean is all ready for her breakfast. She's on a new type now. It's eight cereals with honey. Sasha's doing her workout at the same time. Probably not the best idea because Story does like to watch Sasha do her workout. She might get distracted. Sometimes Story even likes to join in a little bit. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be a nice sunny day today. We might have to go to Melada to do some shopping. We need some bits that we can't get in our local store. I'm about to do my exercise. I just received a packet from my mum which is full of Story's clothes from eBay. So I'll go through them later. And I think Sasha is about to make one of her famous juices. Now you guys have been messaging saying that you'd like Sasha to share some more of her recipes. So I'll pass you over to her now and she can show you what her morning juice routine looks like. Good morning. So I'm about to make my juice for my breakfast after my workout. And this is the juice that I have every day. Carrot, beetroot and ginger. This is what's going in today. Five carrots, half a beetroot and a big chunk of ginger because I really like it gingery. Sometimes I add an apple in as well but I'm not going to today. I'm just going to stick with the three ingredients and then at the end I put a teaspoon of chia seeds on the top of the juice. So here it goes. <laughs> So those ingredients made 300 ml of juice. I'm gonna go the chia seeds. And it's ready to drink. Gingery, <laughs> just how I like it. So it makes a glass of this size, just a normal sized drinking glass. And then there's normally a little bit left over for Jay to have a little health shot as well. I love the color of it. And it is just full of vitamins and minerals and antioxidants. And it's got anti-inflammatory as well from the ginger. So it's good for healing. And I just really enjoy it. <laughs> It is a good drink to start the day. And while I was doing that, I heard a shriek coming from the living room and a bird has just flown in. What have you got there, Story? Little bunny. You're such a sweet baby. Are you ready to see your clothes? Let's open this packet. I've just noticed on this packet that my mum's paid £16 to send this to me. So I'm going to send her the money before I speak to her because if I tell her, oh, by the way, mum, I'm going to transfer you some cash, she'll be like, no, 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 don't bother. So I'll quickly sort that out. But that's a lot to send a 1.5 kilo package. Just recently, we had six kilos of milk delivered for Stories Formula, and that cost £20. So different service, I guess. Royal Mail is not the best option, is it? No. <laughs> we should have waited until we had like six kilos of clothes. Smells nice and fresh, like laundry. Oh, yeah, mum washed it, didn't she? Yeah. If you aren't aware of Sasha's eBay bundling, she's been buying all of Story clothes in bundles off of eBay and you save so much money, it's ridiculous. All of this stuff here would probably have come to less than, I think it was less than 25, 30 pounds, wasn't it? Much less than that. It's and about 15 pounds worth of clothes. And each item in the supermarkets and in the baby stores here costs about 10 euros each, so yeah, Let's mega savings. Got, sorry, I can't remember what I bought. It's all six to nine stuff, isn't it? Yeah. We've got a little pair of denim shorts here. Ooh, it's a very stylish story. Very stylish. Look at this. Story's not interested in all these clothes. She's just interested in her little books again. Are you going to be a librarian? Hmm? Open a little bookshop? <laughs> so Story has got 10 new pairs of trousers, 12 long sleeve tops and five under vests and I just checked our eBay account and it came to about £17 with postage which works out to about 60p per item so can't go wrong really and out of all of that only two of the tops need a little bit of an extra clean. This one here has got a little bit of a food stain on it but apart from that everything else is really good and this whole bundle here three pairs of leggings and three matching tops were all brand new never been worn. 
And I got all these bits for her next stage of clothing. So as we're going into the cooler weather and autumn time, so this is what all this is for. That's why it's all long sleeve stuff and trousers. We are gonna go to the shop shortly, but before we go, we are just making a quick lunch to give us some power to get through the shopping task. And I'm making a green juice. This is the same recipe that I always have when I say I'm having a green juice. So it is three, two or three big handfuls of spinach, ginger, a nice big chunk again, half a lemon, it's just squeezed in, two tablespoons of chia seeds, a pear cut up, and about 700 mils of water, and then that is all just blended in the blender. And voila, we have green juice, and that is super green. <laughs> I'm going to put the recipes for my juices in the description because a couple of people have actually asked. I know I've shared them lots before but it's just different to have it written down so they will be down in the description if you want to go and read them and make them. I suggest that you do because they are nice. <laughs> Jay is over here making his lunch. He has a black bean sandwich today with mustard and looks like some gherkins are going in as well. Papinos ain't been again. It is nearly Story's nap time, so we want to quickly have our food and then we can put her in the car before she gets too tired and she can sleep on the way to the shop. That is the plan. <laughs> We're going to leave some tunes on for Eden. Today it's Trap Nation. How do you feel about Trap Nation, Eden? Can you enjoy that? Alright, we'll see you soon. You got your car keys? Are you driving today? One day you will. We're going to the big shop today over the mountain. Sasha's driving because when we get back to England, the car is in your name. So you're going to be doing all the driving. Yeah. <laughs> and you haven't driven for ages. <laughs> Getting some practice in. <laughs> right, let's drop off this recycling. Here we are. actually 33 degrees out here in Portugal today so it's really hot it's good that we've got the air conditioning blasting in here make a nice cool environment for Story to sleep in although she's still wide awake back there you may have noticed I've cut my hair and shaved off my beard I was getting really fed up looking at myself like that <laughs> so I made the effort and got it done it took about 10 minutes but Story has finally gone to sleep which is perfect fits into our schedule just right isn't it funny how we've become scheduled people now we always used to be a little bit disorganized and never really stuck to any kind of proper plan but with story there's a proper plan isn't yeah. there and it works yeah, it's quite strict with her routine and her schedules yeah but it's working really well now but i'm pretty sure next month something new will happen and it will Change be reorganizing again yeah <laughs> Okay, we've been driving for about 30 minutes and we've arrived at the big store. We have to come to the big store to get a few different items that we can't get in our little store. So, insulation tape, what was it you wanted? Safety pins. Safety pins. Brown silly rice. Brown rice, yeah. Silly things that we can't find in our little store. Bean just woke up. Right, let's quickly get this shopping done then we can resume the day. And just like that, we're home. It's Story's vegetable time, so Sasha's gonna do that over there. And how was Trap Nation? Mm, did you enjoy the music? <laughs> You're a happy dog. You're a bit stinky though, I think I might wash you. Let's see what we got for our money. Tea, almonds, seeds, rocket, breads, wraps, peppers, rices, olives, carrots, Plums, cleaning spray, sanitary towel, ginger biscuits, and some needles. Total price 29 euros. Why are you being a moany baby? Hmm? Are you hot? Are you tired? What could it be? <laughs> you have a nice veg. Yeah. <laughs> You're an angry baby. Story is chowing down on a plum. This is her treat. <laughs> <laughs> is it sour? 
There's no skin and no pip on this. Now I've just taken the skin off. So she can just gobble like mad. But she keeps going back for more, even though she's doing sour face. <laughs> oh, you little plum monster. <laughs> what was that funny eye? <laughs> Oh, it's just Eden. It's just Eden sneezing. <laughs> Isn't it funny how the human body does the same reaction to <laughs> sour things, even when she's never been taught that face? No. Right, Story has gone for her last little bit of play before her bedtime bottle, and I have begun preparing Jay and I's dinner. It's a new recipe that I'm doing tonight, a Moroccan falafel recipe from my vegan magazine. So I thought I'd share it with you because I haven't cooked it before. And this is the ingredients. So this is everything that is going into these Moroccan falafels. We've got a whole can of chickpeas, 400 grams, dates, dried apricots, garlic, onion, and a red pepper, a handful of coriander, 90 grams of oats, two tablespoons of sesame seeds, and then this is the little spice dish which is cinnamon, cumin and paprika. A tablespoon of cumin and paprika and half of cinnamon and half of salt as well. Everything just gets chopped up and cooked and then whizzed in a blender and then I think you roll them in flour at the end but we'll come back to that when I get to that stage. All right, the mixture is ready to be made into falafels. This is what it looks like at the moment. I actually had to put it in the fridge for half an hour so it hardened up a bit. Now I have to roll them in some flour. I've got some wholemeal flour in there and make the balls and then cook them. My balling is going well <laughs> and these are going to be cooked now, which is why Jay's here because he's going to start the cooking while I continue balling <laughs> and they just need four minutes on each side. All right, dinner is done. It is two hours since I first started preparing this meal, but not just the falafels. The Moroccan spiced falafel recipe got me inspired to do a full Moroccan meal. <laughs> so that's what has happened, that's why it took so long. But it has turned into a little bit of a date night, so Jay's put some wine in the fridge, we're going to watch a film and we're going to enjoy this delicious feast. This is what it looks like. Here are the finished falafel. They turned into squares because they were easier to cook that way. And then we've got some spinach and rocket, some olives, homemade hummus, a homemade Moroccan carrot dip, which is basically just carrots and cumin mashed up, roasted with garlic, and then a spiced couscous, and a lovely loaf of crusty bread that we bought at the supermarket earlier. You looking forward to it? I am. <laughs> these are looking good. Put more oil in these ones. I think it will turn out better. Mm. I am now going to end the vlog for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to check out our behind the scenes footage and see how you can become an 8 miler, click the link here. Don't forget to subscribe and share and we'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah, they look more authentic, don't they? <laughs> Just need more work. Yeah. Oh no, I'm busting that.